Good afternoon and welcome to From Ashes, my website where I blog about my programming journey. It is Tuesday, April 23rd and I found a little issue yesterday while I was busy studying uh, using PyQt for doing Python GUI development. So let me show you what the issue was. So two things quickly. If I show you just my Python version, so I've made the default 3.7. So there's, there's still some questions around what I'm going to show you, but just keep this in mind. Python 3.7 is my default. Control D to exit. Let's uh, let's leave this open. So we go by cute des well, cute five designer. And we say create this, let's just add so checkbox, radio button, whatever. Okay, cool. So I want to save this as in documents, let's just call it untitled, that's fine, save, we close it. Now the study guide from UNISA is basically written for Windows. What we're supposed to be doing is say by UIC5 and untitled UI dash O to let's call it test one dot pi. Okay, that's instruction. Nice, it works, everything's good. Problem is I can't open the program. So the first issue I had was running just Python, keeping in mind 3.7 is my default. So this is all in Linux. Python test one by and I get this con import, QT core, QT GUI, QT widgets, blah blah blah. And then I started, okay, cool. Let's try Python 3, because there's nothing in the in the study guide. And it looks like, have a look here, it opens and closes. So the application is crashing. So I thought to myself, okay, this is a problem. Uh, I don't want to do this on Windows. I want to use my Linux machine. That's just my daily driver. That's what I've got on my laptop. How do I get past this? So I'd, after some research, what do we want to do? is pi uic 5 dash x uh, untitled the dot ui file dash o now, i haven't gotten as far as knowing what this actually means i do know i need the dash x on linux to work i uh, suppose it sets an executable or something and then we say teens dot by that works well I did try I'll show you now so if we go Python teens dot by I get the same import error okay we got Python 3 tada it works I do get uh, application bad style override passed ignoring it does look like my other applications on this OS if you compare the two right so and it, I mean it works there it's closed what I did try was going to where did I put it documents in here and set it to be execute right that did not work I had to run the dash x. So basically what I wanted to show is if you're using Linux, um, I've tried this on pop OS, which is Ubuntu derived as well. This is elementary OS, also Ubuntu. Um, not sure if this goes for all Linux flavors, but you have to use the dash x switch to convert it into your Python file 
and when you run it you have to run it using Python 3 just normal Python does not work even if Python 3 is your default so that's what I wanted to show you um, I still investigate what this X switch is what that what does it mean and O as well so that's just a quick video on how to compile or how to, to convert your UI file to a Python file and getting it to run on Linux so if anyone else has been stuck like I was it took me probably like 10 to 20 minutes to figure this out which is for something like this a long time so I thought, let me share this. Cool. Thanks for watching. I hope this is helping anyone else. This is also for my reference going forward. And I'll have this on my blog and the video on my YouTube page. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.